I want to show you something. Behind me, there's a creaking. An immortal creaking. Not one summoned with commands or spawn eggs. Those die in a single hit. But this one, this one's truly immortal. But if you look around, there's no creaking heart. So, how is it still alive? And more importantly, how can you replicate it? This video is a bit of a mix. Not only am I going to teach you this bug, but also a bit about the craft of finding bugs. If you just want the setup, feel free to jump to minute 3. There is also a bit of a rant about this channel and why it's taking me so long to post at the end of the video. Anyway, let's continue. The creaking is an immortal creature that cannot strike far away from its heart. Any attempts to make it go 32 blocks away from its heart would instantly crumble it into dust. It also cannot survive in the sun, so every morning it dies just to spawn later that night. My first thought when watching this new entity was, how is it going to work? Is the brain of the creaking inside of the heart block, or is the creaking just checking periodically to see if its heart is there? And this is basically how most bug finding starts. You ask yourself how something works. In this case, the answer to who controls the creaking, the block, or the entity is complicated. The creaking is in control of its movements and periodically searches its heart to see if it is there. And if it isn't, well, the creaking just dies. On the other hand, the creaking has two functions. It tells the creaking the time of the day and its distance from its heart. Now, the most important step when finding a bug, the what if step. At this point, I think to myself, what if we remove the creaking heart? And, if we check with what we know, a creaking without a heart would be both immune to the time of day and able to stand anywhere in the world. But there is a problem. When the creaking checks for its heart and sees that it isn't there, it is going to die. At this point, there are two questions that intrigue me. Can we remove the block without the creaking noticing? And is there any way to stop the heart from working without removing it? The first one is a definite no, and it is difficult to figure out because to prove it, you would have to look at the code or the creaking block. I normally do this if I can't figure out a simple test in game, and I'll leave a small video of how you can do it too in the description. The other question is simpler, and it took me only a few minutes to figure out. If you unload the creaking heart, the logic that checks for time and distance stops, but the creaking can still look for its heart, and it sees that it has not been broken. At this point, a quick check by TPing the creaking along with the player far away from the heart confirms the behavior, and the bug is officially discovered. Now, to do this in survival, we're gonna follow the same steps, but instead of a TP command, we'll use another portal. Make sure the block where the heart is and the place where you're going to spawn the creaking are in two different chunks. Next step is to build a simple flying machine and make sure to load a corridor where the flying machine can move, load it with under pearls, which I like to move one chunk to the right so that the creaking doesn't move but the flying machine does. After this, you can use the setup to separate the creaking from its heart. I'll show you a demonstration in survival mode. Something that you can do, but it's not required, is to put a name tag on the creaking so that it doesn't despawn. But you can skip this step if you actually want it to despawn, or you don't have a name tag. So I'm gonna put this name here, and I'm gonna activate the flying machine. And I have to make sure to get into the portal before the creaking goes 35 steps. After this, the flying machine will still work in the overworld and we can just wait on the other side.
Now we just wait for the flying machine to reach us. Hi, this is Post Production Igna. I forgot to tell you guys about other methods of achieving this. You can actually use TNT or water streams and some other methods that still keep the creaking loaded, but the creaking hard unloaded. And it only requires small tweaks to the setup, so you guys can definitely do it. If you're planning to do the setup really, really far away, I would recommend using some TNT to make things easier. And that's been all, so let's go back to the video. And here it comes, our flying machine with our creaking, which is actually not moving right now because we're looking at him. But if we let it get into here, and we get into F5, look around, it will start following us. But if we look back at him, it will stop. Another thing to consider is that the creaking can only come to the direction his heart is. So if I do like this and try to go to the other side, the creaking can still move, but only in the other direction, so it can never reach me. Another consideration to take into account is that any player that now loads the creaking heart will make this creaking disappear. But otherwise, if you have the creaking heart really far away and it never gets loaded, this guy is invincible to hits and basically any form of damage you can imagine. Finally, I have to say that we have reached 8,000 subscribers and that's literally amazing. And that's part of the reason I made this video is because you guys definitely are worth putting the effort into. And I know this video isn't as big or impactful as my previous ones, but these past two uni semesters have been really, really hard, which prevented me from posting more frequently. Right now, I'm also waiting for Mojang to introduce some brand new features into the game, because only with new features, new bugs can appear. So I have to ask you all for some patience and thank you for watching this video. This has been all and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.